Hello everyone, I'm Naveen Rai. With me today, I have Tanush Jain from Chennai and he's received offer from Singapore Institute of Management in Business and uh, Management, the Bachelors of Science program. So uh, welcome, Tanush, and why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, so yeah, I'm Tanush Jain and I am from India. I live in Chennai. So uh, I have gotten my admission for the honors program in Singapore and I'm excited for, uh, to do so. And the awarding university partner is University of London, which is just a great achievement. So I'm glad I could do that. And yeah, so I'm here to have a quick chat with Naveen, sir. Thank you, uh, Tanush, for joining. Now, uh, in, in this uh, discussion, we'll try to understand, you know, how did you build yourself um, in terms of profile uh, requirement uh, when it comes to the application of undergraduate uh, graduate universities? So would you shed more light about your profile, um, the schooling that you've done, the journey so far, the extracurricular activities that you've been involved uh, in, so on and so forth? Yeah, so I've uh, ever since I was quite young, I've known that I wanted to be in the business field. So my uh, my entire course of action has been aligned with the program that I've wanted to do. So my father is also an entrepreneur and he's a very, very good businessman who I draw inspiration from on a daily basis. So based on this, I always knew I wanted to be a businessman. And when I was 14, I started looking into everything related to business, like finance, leadership, human management skills, and et cetera. So I had founded multiple clubs about uh, entertainment for financial literacy, for social reasons and everything. And all of these clubs would display that I ha I am developing skills which are necessary for a businessman to have, such as the ability to communicate with people, the ability to lead people, the ability to have, tr have people trust you and various other abilities, which, which are obviously uh, reflecting on my college, uh, college application which would speak a lot about my character and my goals and how I'd be suitable for their university and how it would be benefit me and them to have me attend the university. All right, Tanush, that's, that's very insightful. So um, now someone who's preparing for uh, their admission in the undergraduate program, what, uh, what suggestions would you give, let's say someone who's in 11th standard and is going to apply next year how they should uh, start preparing themselves for, for this journey? I think the most important step is finding out and discussing with your parents and your friends what location is most ideal for you and which universities you'd like to attend the most and make a list of the best universities to your backups that you will be applying to and go through every single university's basic requirements and ensure that you fulfill them. And if you're not able to find it, I'd suggest contact the current students over there or alumni or the admissions team of the college and find out all that you need to about the university. Then once you have the requirements, for example, certain uh, universities require a 1315 SAT, 650 reading, 650 writing or 650 in math and various other combinations. So you read that and ensure that you're planning enough time for yourself to give up multiple attempts for the SAT. So I started the SAT quite late and um, I wish I'd started when I was in 10th grade. So I'd have abundant amount of attempts. So I did on a very average scale and I've taken two attempts. So yeah, so I'd suggest you plan properly, plan the universities you want to go to, shortlist them, ensure you meet all their requirements and just stay positive for the results. Okay, Tanush, uh, what do you think stood out in your application that basically resulted in you getting the offer? I'm sure there might be multiple factors, uh, but then one factor that you'd like to highlight, another question that I'd like to ask you is how important are internships and projects in the application process? Yeah, so uh, when you ask me the question, my immediate response is the, the, the most uh, unique factor about my application, I'd say is my internship portfolio. So I had done various amounts of internship. I mean, I couldn't even list all of them in my college application. And this wasn't just so I could get college credits. I did these internships because I genuinely was interested in what the businesses had to offer and what they could teach me, which would help me in the future. And I'd learned many things, for example, how HR manage, how the HR team in a corporate world acts, how the recruitment process is done, how financial processes are done, how pay enrollment is done, how... Um, 
a company manages their accounting their procurement and everything and i think when the colleges see that i have had all these experiences it makes me an ideal candidate for say a program about business because i already did multiple um, internships in the area similarly for a science student i'd recommend they should do a lot of internships in science department where they can expand their knowledge where they can work under scientists or they can just have any sort of exposure to the scientific field that would definitely enhance the profile rightly said uh, tanush another question that i keep getting from the students is about the letters of recommendation so how important do you think the lors are in the application process and what did you do as far as the letters of recommendation are concerned so i think uh, certain universities have different requirements when it comes to lors some require an academic lor some require ex- lors from external places without school so i have i didn't contact any of my subject teachers for an lor i got one academic lor from school which was written by the academic counselor after taking comments from all of our subject teachers and i uh, added multiple lors or statements of uh, that my other uh, bosses have said in the internships and those lors were more meaningful because that spoke to the college about how my personality is when i'm put in a real corporate world situation or in a real business environment so i think lor uh, depends on the university but it never hurts to have more recommendations in your portfolio Can you tell us about more? Tell us more about your academic journey, as in in terms of the school where you're studying, the the subjects that you have, the grades, how they have been so far. That would add more perspective into the discussion. Okay, so my IGCSE was a very varied port portfolio. So I had taken, I think, eight subjects. I had coordinated sciences. I had math, English, Hindi, business, economics, and drama. so this was a very diversified subject group where i had basically the freedom to go into any other career i wanted but as i was sure i was leading towards commerce so when i stepped into as and a level i uh, limited my subjects to business economics accounting and english so uh, in my igcses i've gotten decent grades and ever since then i've just been working to improve them further and further so if you see my business grades in my igcses i had gotten an a star and i had uh, ensured that i don't fall off track and stayed within that a star even for my a level so the colleges can see that i'm most interested in my subject as business so i have a stagnant performance throughout my high school life similarly i i have a lot of interest in economics so my grades have been up for that too and uh, i didn't take accounting in igcse as the school i was in then didn't offer it as a subject so i had to cover igcse portions by myself and continue in as and a level which was a challenge but it was uh, it was all right i was able to manage and yeah so uh, accounting economics and business all three of them are quite related to the business field that i'm interested in which is chartered accountancy so um, in my personal statement the colleges can read that yeah he is interested in ca he is interested in pursuing it as a future and he is going to be doing his article ship after he graduates which shows them my clarity to, towards my goals and how i'm working towards it and how my academic performance directly shows them that uh, i'm serious about what i'm talking about anush community engagement is also one aspect that the universities look into as far as the entire profile is concerned universities basically want people who are empathetic towards the concern of the society so what activities did you undertake to to basically cover that aspect of your application so yeah i have always uh, well i don't want to say i'm i'm naturally philanthropic but i prefer helping people who aren't as privileged as i am so i have done multiple things such as i've spent uh, time with elderly people who had been abandoned by their family so they find the comfort of having a son around them i've uh, had i've started a club which teaches financial basic financial literacy to uh, underprivileged kids who are living in foster homes or anath ashrams and etc uh on occasional basis i provide food for these homes and uh, i've done various other things which i don't like to uh, broadcast and i think the colleges can see whether your service learning or your community service is base if is if it's, if if you're truly philanthropic or you're just trying to show them that you're that uh, uh interested in community service when you really aren't so one thing is being genuine with it and 
choosing a community service that you believe in. I had started the financial literacy club because I think everyone should know the basics of finance and how to handle their personal money in the future so they can uh, be safe and protect themselves in a time of crisis. So I had chosen that. If uh, you think there's a different kind of service that you'd like to support more, I think you should go ahead and do that and speak uh, speak genuinely about how you're interested in that, which would help your profile a lot. And yeah, that's that. We've been in touch for almost a year now. Yeah. Uh, so how has Hello Study Global helped you in your journey to prepare for undergraduate admissions? I'd be quite lost without Naveen, sir, to be honest. So uh, he had guided me the entire way. We, my parents have always, uh, always preferred Singapore. They were against US altogether. And uh, they weren't keen on sending me to UK either because it's a long distance from India. So Singapore and India were our ideal locations. And uh, we even had a phase where we uh, shortlisted UK universities. Hello Study Global had created uh, many external folders, ensured all the universities that could possibly be listed or applied to were on the application portal, were all on our sheet. We were deciding, we were connecting on a weekly basis to ensure that we're staying on track with our progress. We were connecting weekly to stay on track with SAT preparation, IELTS preparation and everything. So uh, I had been guided and hand, uh, handheld the entire way through my application, including my personal statement, my uh, grades, predictive grades, my board exams, my scheduling, every, everything was done with the help of uh, Hello Study Global. So yeah, I think it was the best decision to go with Naveen sir as my college counselor, and I couldn't be more glad. Thank you so much, uh, Tanush, for, for the kind words. And uh, with that, uh, we will wrap up today's uh, discussion. It has been very insightful. And uh, those who are watching this, to stay updated, uh, you can subscribe our channel so that you don't miss an update. And we will bring forth many such discussions where you could benchmark your profile, you could uh, prioritize, you could, you could strategize as far as your applications are concerned. If you have any doubt, any question, you can reach out to the contact number provided in the description. So thank you so much and thank you, uh, Tanush, for joining. Thank me. you, Amin, for having me. Thank you.